So here's a quick tip as I wait for the side of this to dry to a point where I can actually um, use this rash to knock off the high points. It's not quite there yet. It's getting there. But I figured let me just go ahead and do a quick tip video on how I made this cast. Now I was watching Bill Duran's video on how to make a cast. And I was going to go ahead and get the plaster uh, bandages that he recommended. Then I saw the damn price. I was just no in hell. I'm paying 60 bucks for that. Um, I went online to Amazon. I started looking around. And I found some other casting bandages for around 30 bucks for like... 12, 12, 12 pieces, 12 rolls. Um, and I was like, mm, eh, it's like, you know, two times three yards per roll. So I was like, eh, that's kind of steep still. And I have to wait until tomorrow. So I went ahead to Home Depot, got me some plaster of Paris and some cheesecloth and made my own. Now, this cheesecloth give you roughly five square yards and you can go ahead and cut this to two inches three inches or whatever you need and make as many bandages as you can out need out of this and uh this this is actually this goes way long further than the box of bandages that i saw on building ranch and or the other one that i researched on amazon and this whole setup only cost 10 bucks and and you get a lot more out of this just by preparing your own bandage. Just need some scissors, cut them out to your, you know, desired length and width, and uh, go to town. Now I still recommend that you go and look at Bill and Rand's video if you have not. I'm gonna put a link in the description. I'm also gonna put a link to um, Evil Ted's video on how to keep the formager, the formage, the form, the form of the breast uh basically what he did he did like crisscross type thing one down this way one down this way and one down this way then another strip which should be fairly long considering your model's uh torso um diameters and goes under the breast and that will pretty much secure everything else that'll keep you from getting that unibro that uniboo um effect when she's wearing her t-shirt or whatever shirt she's wearing um and um quick note if you want you can take some duct tape and tape it down her the middle that will help bring the 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 shirt in and you can take do the same thing with the duct tape then take your 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 paris uh, bandages that you created and do the diagonal thing as well and that will keep the form of the boobs far better this way you don't have to worry about the uniboob issue um but yeah that's how i made this and uh, i think my my uh bondo is ready now this extra added piece with the rondo and the bondo and all that other stuff you really don't need to do this part this is me going overboard because i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do with this cast uh i might decide to make a mold out of this cast i might decide to um pour some silicone in this cast and pull it off that way and use that as a pro i don't know so i'm making this as smooth as i possibly can so i can at least have some type of control over what i do with it if that makes any sense but uh yeah ten dollars at home depot and i mean just a couple of a little bit like five more minutes of work and boom you're, you're done this is so much it took me about an hour to do this entire pull on um my wife an hour that's it you know some vaseline on the shirt you know it was a little tough getting the shirt off but i mean did this off with the shirt because you know gotta be kind of delicate but uh yeah it, you know literally an hour and we was done so there's your quick tip you guys have a good one